Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Andronica.com giving you a look at a new media player from Songbird. Yes, the very same people who make Songbird on the desktop have brought their app to Android. Let's take a look at it now. Much like it is on the desktop, Songbird for Android relies on clean lines. It has a purple theme. The de design is very simple. When you log in, you can browse by all of these options right here. You've got your player buttons at the bottom. So let's say I want to browse by genre. And this is something I really like about this app. It lets you go within genres and apply filters as well. So let's say I want to listen to hip hop. I've got 125 songs with that genre tagged on there. Within there, I can play them all and just shuffle, or I can browse by album or artist. So let's say I want to browse by album, and I go down, and I scroll through, and I just decide, all right, I'm going to listen to Kanye West. I can play that entire album just by pressing the play button, or I can find a particular song by clicking on the link. Okay, and press play. And once I'm within... The, the player button, I can bring up this little folder section, and if you turn on this Flickr plugin, you get a photo stream. So, uh, right now I'm playing a Kanye West song, so it plays the album cover and a bunch of other stored photos of Kanye West. You know, small thing, but it's cool to have if you want. Also, if I see this little Facebook icon right here, when I tap that, uh, you see it says you like this uh, on Facebook. Now when people browse my profile, they're going to see Andrew likes all of the lights in Elude by Kanye West. Uh, if I skip forward, back, whatever with this progress meter, I press pause, I can skip to the next song. Okay. Oh wait, I can't play that. That's a little... Alright, and from here, I can do whatever I want. Uh, I can bring the folder back down. I can skip to playlists, artist songs, or I can go to more. Let's say I want to hear some more Kanye West songs. I'll click more and then search. Start, start typing K-A-N. And as you can see, Kanye West comes up and I can play every song stored on my phone. Uh, if you have an HTC Incredible, at the moment you may run into some trouble. Remember, this is a beta application. Uh, they're having some trouble with the Incredible's internal storage. Uh, there's some issues. I won't really get into that. But for now, the app is in beta and it looks pretty good. They're planning on adding plugin supports pretty soon. If you've used Songbird on the desktop, you know that's one of the things that makes the app great. Aside from that, you know, you can pretty much browse whatever you want. There are a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of songs you can play, a lot of ways you can organize your music, and it's really good. And of course, any new app has to have a widget. So they have this home screen widget. It looks a little similar to what you saw on the last FM widget. You got the album cover artwork on the left, song title, skip forward or back, pause it. And if you want to open up the app, just tap the album cover, and that brings up Songbird. Uh, this is Songbird for Android. It's in beta right now. The official version will hit the Android market in about four weeks. If you want to download this now and try it out, follow the link at the bottom of this video or the left, right, top, or whatever YouTube is doing nowadays, and it'll take you to Andronica.com, and we'll have a link for you to download it up there. This is Andrew from Andronica, and I'm listening to Songbird, so peace out, guys. Let me know. Tell them tricks outside. Hit me, hit me.